how do we develop vibrato? How do we develop a healthy vibrato? How do we know what to look for? And, and when is it contrived or when does it seem contrived? And, and what is it that we can do to assure ourselves that we have uh, a, a well-placed um, whole tone, well, a strong supported clear tone? First of all, as I've gone through the volumes and if, you, if you've understood fabulous support, really truly understand support because it's the engine that drives your car, Understand what it sounds like to have a well-placed vowel sound to begin with, a nice, bright, crystal clear sound. And by the way, bright is another subject because you can have a dark sound, we're going to get into the ooh vowel in a second, uh, and it still can have a real bright, clear tone to it. And we see examples of that uh, from UC, from Pavarotti, Placido, you know, lots and lots of, of uh, tenors especially that um, can really cover a sound, oscuro, make a sound really dark, but they actually have a brightness to the sound too that is um, undeniable. So. But I want to I want to start uh, with a couple of things. The first thing is is we're going to discuss different ways of approaching vibrato. But if it's a relaxation response, the first thing is is we need to be able to sing within a range of our voice that is relaxed enough to be able to practice this. Okay. So people are saying, Ken Tamplin, you're really going to try to actually practice vibrato. The answer is absolutely, absolutely, I am. Regardless of what anyone tells you, vibrato is something that we train. It's something that we, until we, until we get to the point that it becomes natural. So in other words, it's not manufactured. It's not contrived. It's not something that, ah, 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 and we call that, you know, a, a relaxed state. But when we understand what a well-placed note is, and you guys, if you don't have my course, you got to go first get the course, go through the course and understand that part of it. I do walk through some of the vibrato. But this is, this is, again, at the end of the food chain of uh, my How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else course. So, all right. So, vibrato. Now, I, I, there's an old Bill Canto trick, and I want to start here because, um, again, I've seen some kind of funny things on, uh, within the Bill Canto community. One side says, no, vibrato can't be rehearsed, and another side says it can. Uh, the best thing you do is you boo like a ghost, right? Well, uh, it's kind of an interesting um, way to, uh, to describe it because actually you can start with something like that. However, you're only starting on a, on a particular vowel, and I want to get into vowels in a minute. But let's start here for the tenors. We're going to berries, high berries and tenors. Um, altos, you're going to want to be um, a minor fourth uh, above, minor, sorry, excuse me, minor third above, and uh, sopranos, you can go ahead and do this up the octave, okay? So if we go, ooh, 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 Well, the reason that's kind of cool is because you're not thinking so hard about sounding like this artist or, you know, well-placed sound over here. You're just trying to get the vocal folds themselves to relax, to feel in a relaxed state. So you're not going, Ooh, right? You're relaxing them. and start on the ooh vowel. The reason being is the ooh is actually a closed vowel, so it's easier actually to start on a closed vowel because it doesn't splat and get too big and get, get away from us. The, as you ascend a scale, we can keep the sound closed down and stay small on it so we don't have to manage a big sound with an ah, right? It's a smaller sound, so continue with me. have the idea of doing this, you can do this. I don't need to walk through all the scales and all the steps in this, but I want you to get a feeling and understanding of, of how we can relate to this. So try this one on your own.
this may seem silly at first, especially to all you that have a vibrato and want to learn better, hang in there. I've got some information for you. Just hang in there with me. Now you're going to need to practice this a lot on your own. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. Okay, cool. All right, let's move on. 